Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to loop MIDI or audio clips in Cakewalk. So here I've got three tracks with some recording on them. And the first one we've got here is a vocal track, and I've got some audio recorded. Then we've got down here, we've got a MIDI track, and that's connected to this drum virtual instrument here. And then we've got this bass virtual instrument here where I've actually put the MIDI on the instrument track. So basically the principle is exactly the same for all three. Now, before I loop them, I want to make sure I've got them all the same length. So I'm just going to click on two here so I can make all these one bar long. So I'm going to grab the end of this audio track I'm moving the mouse over here so it changes to this double headed arrow and then drag back to the two bar measure. Now you'll see my drum track is already one bar long. And now I've just got to change my bass guitar one, which is too short. So if I do the same there, get the double headed arrow and then drag across. So they're now all one bar long. Now at this point, I then want to loop them. So I'm going to click first on this MIDI track with the drum beat on it. Now if I right mouse click and then come down the pop-up menu to where it says Groove Clip Looping, and I can click on Groove Clip Looping. I'm going to do that you'll see, I'll move that out of the way, you'll see now that it's got these indentations on each of the corners, which means that if I move the cursor to the end now and get this double headed arrow, if I drag out to two bars, it's now duplicated it. So effectively the first one bar has been looped to two bars. And I can drag that as far as I want there for instance and I can then click on the bass guitar do the same there if I right mouse click and I can click on groove clip looping but you'll also notice that at the end of this one where it says groove clip looping you see it says CTRL and L or CTRL plus L and that means if you press the control key and the L key at the same time on your keyboard, it'll do the same thing as this groove clip looping in the menu. So if I come out of that, click on my bass guitar and then press on the control key, hold it down and press the L key. You'll see now that that's got indentations on the corners. And I can go to the end, change the cursor to a double headed arrow and then drag that one. I'll drag it to the same length. And you'll see that now has been looped as well. And I can go up here to my audio because you can do exactly the same with audio. And I'm just going to click on right mouse, come down here to groove clip looping, click on that. And it says hidden data beyond slip endpoints will be discarded. Continue. And what that means is if I change this to a loop now, the information or the recording that I had after this loop will be effectively removed from the track. So Obviously, I want it to loop to just this, so it needs to discard the bit that I had on the end that I removed to bring this down to one bar. So if I click on OK now, now I've got these indentations on the audio, and I can do the same with my audio. So there you have it. And I can just now play that with them all looped.
If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.